this is a story that really shook the country when I said it because they were like, yo, this is some real live shit. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. Yeah, we gonna talk. Yeah, that was the motivation. Now, what Kenny Ivey is talking about is the legendary uh, grenade story that comes from Pimps Up Hose Down. If I'm gonna sit up and break a bitch down and have her doing anything, I could sit in front of this white man and break him down the exact same way. This is a story that really shook the country when I said it because they were like, yo, this is some real live shit. But what happened, I had been signed to Warner Brothers by now. Let's fast forward. I'm signed mm -hmm. to Warner Brothers. And I created this thing called the Rhyme Syndicate, which is like the hip hop fraternity. There were all these different groups in LA. And I said, we're going we're gonna to create a, a syndicate like Lucky Luciano did with the commission. You're a boss. She's a boss. All y'all are bosses. But all the different groups. But we agree as bosses to meet before we beef. Mm hmm I'm talking to you. I ain't talking to your crew. You got 35 motherfuckers. You got 50 people. But us bosses sit down. And in the mob, they call it a sit down. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We agree. Something's going with your people and your people. Y'all sit down. The bosses usually can squash it. But soldiers want to fight. Yeah, yeah. So the bosses. So we created the syndicate. So when I, my, my thing was, if I get over, I'm going to try to get y'all record deals. I got Everlast signed at Warner Brothers. I got Donald D. So I took Donald D., and Divine Styler over to Epic. So here's my play. I'm gonna go in there and I have a cassette tape, this is back in the day, with only hit records, all platinum and gold records. But I'm gonna play it to this executive and I'm gonna um, see if he says it's good music. I'm yeah. gonna say this is my demo. My agenda is to prove you don't know good rap. I want you to say, I don't know, and me to say, you just passed on $10 million worth of music. Mm. This music just all has already hit. That's like if you took hit records right now and you walk into it and say, these are my artists, and they don't, they don't know. I don't know. I'm proving you don't know. That's my agenda, to prove you don't right. know. Yeah, 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 yeah. So that I can get the job, right? So I had this plan. So I'm going there, and then right when I got there, I said, fuck that plan. <laughs> I'm just gonna go in there. Now, I, I know from my experience in the business, when I bet on you, I don't really bet on the cameras and shit. I bet on you. Correct. Mm -hmm. I believe you're gonna win. You as a team are gonna win, regardless with or without me. That's why I wanna fuck with you because I know you guys are gonna win. Yeah. So I said, I gotta, move. I gotta sell myself. Fuck this tape. So I went in there and I said, look, I had, a group, I had a bunch of stuff I was gonna let you hear, I decided not to. I said, I've got a gold record over here at Warner Brothers. I have some artists I would like to bring over here to Epic and get record deals for them. I said, but uh, I'm not gonna let you hear the music. So he leans back. I said, no. Nah. I said, well, it's kind of like if I was selling you hand grenades in an alley. If I was selling you hand grenades, I'm not gonna let you throw the hand grenades to figure out if they're good. You either believe they're good or you don't, right? And he goes, wow, you have a lot of business sense. Have you ever been to business school? I said, no, but I sold hand grenades. <laughs> <laughs> That's hard. That's hard, man. You know, you know, That's hard. hard. You know, you check for half a million dollars. That's wow. hard, man. You, you, you can't make that up. Wow. But at the, end, at the end of the day, you could come in here with a movie or whatever, this, that, and the third, or you could just say, man, it's dope. I, I, I want you to believe in me. Mm -hmm. And you just hit me with all that. You ain't got to show me no demos. You got, and I'm, I'm looking at you, and you, you, you sell you. Exactly. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And i like, you know what? I like you. I'm fucking with you. You dig? Versus listen to this and listen to that. Because how do you even know my, my ears even... On the level to understand what you're putting out. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and if they had somebody, then you wouldn't even be there. You'd be talking to that person. That's right. But I knew they didn't even have a rap division. They didn't have anybody in my capacity that could even c come close. And my track record proved I was selling records. But I like that, man, because that's uh, uh, that's another level of self awareness too, and understanding how to be, you know, be really oversee what's what you walking into. You, and you gotta have some big corners to do that too. Well, the beauty, like, like, <laughs> the beauty of that whole thing to me is, 
you had a plan and it went out the window at the last minute. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. <laughs> I just said you gotta have some mingles, man. You at gotta, the last you, minute. I got you. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gonna talk.